Before we get started, be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. That way you can get all the tips and tricks of every Lumber Tycoon 2 video there ever was. Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. In this episode, I'm going to teach you how to door bridge. Um, one of the most useful tools <clears throat> and one of the best things to get around to uh, any place inside Lumber Tycoon 2 is a door bridge. But a lot of people don't know how it works, how to build them, how to start them, or where you can go. So um, I'm going to tell you any direction like north, south, east, west, you can get to from any base as long as it lines up somehow to your base. So if you're if you're on this plot, this is the first plot, or, or okay, so in order they go around plot one, plot two, plot three, all the way in like a counterclockwise order until you get to over there, which that is plot nine. If the place you're trying to get to lines up with one of those bases, you can get to it from a door bridge. So um, <clears throat> the first thing that you usually wanna do is you wanna start off with a glass door. The reason for this is the glass door attaches a little bit different than say a regular door, one of these. So um, notice how whenever I dropped off the, uh, the door, it automatically opened. That's because this door and the glass door are already open. So what you need to do is you need to make sure that the door is closed before getting started. And then when you place it down, it should just stick in place. It, it's not gonna open up at all. So um, when you're thinking about how you want your door bridge to apply, are you going to be driving on it with a car or are you going to be just walking across it to get somewhere? If it's just walking, you can always take these doors and you can lay them down long ways. Uh, rotate turn like this. And then you can have them end to end like so. But um, you're gonna have to attach them in between somehow. Usually what you do is you take another door like this and you would attach them in between or you would barely attach them. Oh, that's not good. That door was open as well, so let's do two turn, 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 uh, set it down, and close the door. So if you're if you're like this and you need to, uh, you're wanting a, a walkable bridge, you're going to need to attach them just slightly. So say this one, we're going to attach just here. Actually, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to do it like that. I'm going to have to. I'm gonna have to actually door bridge this. So, look, we'll go turn, rotate, turn, 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 like that. So this will be the start of a door bridge. Let's say, let's say we wanted to go that way with our door bridge. Um, this door would be the start, and in order to get it to line up correctly, I'm gonna have to take a small blueprint of some kind. Um, let's see, a post would work great. And we're gonna have to line that up with the door post or with the door handle. If you look, there's two spots where it could possibly be. If we set it here, we need to make sure that we, uh, we place the bottom of the door parallel to that handle. So open the door and then we'll just, we'll take a, a regular door. We'll do a rotate and we want it to attach to the handle. So let's do rotate, rotate that side. Just like that. Uh, that might be too, yeah, that's too far down. So we'll bring this up a little bit, move. And we'll bring it up one, two units. Two units might be too much. Yeah, we missed the handle. See how I didn't touch the handle at all? And the reason for this is that handle is what actually attaches to the door. So now let's get it back on there. Come on, like that. Open, there. So see how the handle uh, intersects with the back of the door right there? So now if we move this, but we don't actually move it, we just press B to put it back in place, it should now be attached and when we open it, boom, we now have a door bridge. That's how all door bridges work. 
So, uh, the next thing that you might want to do is, um, let's see, we need to start attaching doors to the top of this one so it becomes a walkable bridge. So in order to do that, we're going to open this. Let's see, move. Oh, actually, hold on. We need to open this door first. And even even though it doesn't say that it opened, you can tell by the uh, the way that the the handle looks. So if I place my mouse over this, it says open door. So I'm gonna press E, open door. It doesn't actually open, but it will, it, it's, it's now opened on the server, not on the clients. So if we look at it again, it says, hey, closed door. No, I don't want a closed door. What we're going to do is we're going to move this and that door is going to open. I'm gonna hit B so the door doesn't actually move. Uh oh, hold on. Move. Uh oh, that's no good. Okay. Maybe we need to hit open on this door. There we go. Open on this door. Move on this door and then hit B. There we go. Now we got an open open slot. So, um, I'm going to need a couple more doors, aren't I? So, let's go ahead and build some doors. Do, 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 do. Build doors, basic door. One, two, three, that'll be good. That's good for now. And let's go grab some wood. Is this wood? Ah, oh, that's wood. Nice. Can we can we plank this into one by ones? Yeah, that'll work. So come on, come on. Come on, come on. Here we go. And I don't need that much, so we'll just take a a little bit right here. Oh, get off my face. Drop and one, two, three, four, right there. Uh oh, uh oh. One, two, three, four, right there. And one, two, three, four. Now I don't know if I've got. Uh, do I have the fat doors? I do not. I've only got the basic door right now. Uh, give me just a second, and I will go grab the other blueprints and show you some more. Um, but before we do, I wanna show you how to attach the next set of doors. So when we go to place the next door, what you're going to do is you're going to line it up with a door that's already open, right at the very end, one unit deep. So it's only one unit, right there. So what this does is it lines up the back of the doors so they attach. So now we can close this one and if we move it, drop it, it's now attached to that top door. So now, open, boom. See how it kinda, it, it, it just fits in place. Same thing with this one, we put this one back, we hit move, B, and now we have a door bridge, woo! And this is how you get around to, to all the different cool little areas and, and, and you end up building huge massive doors like that. So. Um, I hope this has helped a little bit. Let's go grab some of those other blueprints and I'll show you what those can do. All right, right here we have the uh, the basic door, the half door, and the, f the fat door. So let's go ahead and grab the half door first because it does have special properties just like the uh, the fat door that don't apply the same way as the uh, the bigger the bigger doors. Thank you so much for the uh, the subscribes. Uh, and just a reminder, you should subscribe too and hit that notification bell and every time that you want some awesome tips and tricks or lumber tycoon too. Uh, here I'm going to go ahead and grab the fat door as well. There we go. Buy the fat door for 80, yes please. Thank you, no thank you Tom, I appreciate it. All right, so let's let's go back up and, and show you the rest. All right, so here we are back up here at the, the, the uh, door bridge itself. I'm going to create uh, a couple of half doors and just show you that they they tend to act differently than the um, than the regular doors. Not by much. They uh, they have a little bit of a different property. Uh oh, I ran out. Here we go. We can use some of this over here. Same stuff. Same stuff. Good deal. So with the half door, it's it opens the same kind of way, but it has a different kind of hinge. So technically these doors are upside down. So let's move, I'm going to do a turn, turn. 
So these are right side up, move and move, just like that. And they open the same direction as regular doors, except their handles are offset. So the, the way that you would offset these um, is basically the same way. You move it, you kind of put it into a, a one unit just at the top of the door. You don't, you don't want to be on top of the door, just one unit down from the door. And they will attach the same way. So move, B, and attached. So this, th these are good for like filling in little gaps that you might have um, on your, your door bridge. Um, oh wait, that's, <laughs> that's a full door. I'm like, where'd the other handle go? That's not true. So, um, same thing here. Let's go open and we can move this one and B. Oh, oh, I think we need to open that one as well. Move B. There we go. Move this one, move it right into place as well. So now we have a, a mini door bridge. Mini door bridge. Move B. So, close, close, move B, and now they're all attached. Nice. Now, here's the cool thing with the fat bridge. The uh, the fat door is ultimately for driving. You you want to be able to attach these in such a manner that they they are drivable with a truck or a car. So what you're going to do, hold on, is once you're, you've got um, your doors built, um, there's two different ways that you want to interlace these or put these together. Um, I, I will go ahead and move this door out of the way over here, move this door out of the way over here. And same thing, just like we did before with the start of these, we're going to attach the back side of the door to the handles just like this. How long is it too, too small? No, uh, it's not too small. But on the opposite side, we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to do uh, rotate, rotate. Now we should be able to attach this door to the same spot. Hold on. Let me. Let me get these two doors out of the way for just a moment. Right there. So, this is now wide enough that you can drive on it, but we're going to make it even wider. So, uh, let's go ahead and close this. We're going to move and B, and now that attaches them. So we have one massive door. See how that works? See, see, see? So um, let's go ahead and hit open, open, and open. Now we're going to move this door. So those are going to butterfly shut. Hit B, whoa. Okay, okay, hold on. We, we need to move this one. Move B, there we go. Now this door right here, if you notice, it's got a handle too. So you can, you can do one of two things. You can attach to the back side of the door and have it just one wide, or you can attach to this handle on this side and have a double wide fat door. Um, so let's go ahead and take this right here, since we don't need it anymore, we're going to move it up so it's just on the handle. So the bottom of this matches that handle. So when I open this door, I can take this fat door, and we're going to rotate, rotate, and just barely attach right there, the same side, so this handle uh, lines up with this spot. So now when I move this one, move, B. It should now, oh, it's not. Oh gosh, what did I do? I messed it up. No. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It doesn't need to open because it's, it's going to be attached down here. Sorry. Move B. There we go. 
There we go. Okay. So, now we have a double wide door. So the, the, the cool thing is this can expand a bridge by the, the full length of four of these fat doors. So if you're looking for a really big bridge, um, you, can, you can absolutely set these out and change directions and everything else. But you are limited by turning as long as the base. So let's say I had a door bridge going, 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 going. The farthest I could turn to the left or to the right, or actually just to the left, would be the width of my base. Because there's no way to build off of the base you have to build somewhere on the base so it will save. This goes uh, true for going up and down stairs as well. So one of the reasons I built this, uh, this door bridge as high as I did is because I needed a way to walk down. If I had built it over here on this side, there would have been no way to build uh, a staircase that ultimately would go downward. So you have to think about it in a, in a three-dimensional way of where you want to go. So that's the, that's the other thing. We'll work on stairs. Um, let's see, how far are we? We're, we're 16 minutes in. Let's, let's show off some stairs real quick. So when you are working with door bridges and when you're working with going up and down things, um, move, move, move move and we'll take this one right here move it onto the handle let me just get set up real quick that's good when you're thinking about door bridges and, and how to get things to attach always remember that the back side of the door this this hinge right here and the handles always allow you to attach in some way so if we, if we have these two attached, move, B. This is now attached as a door bridge, okay? Then we want to take a, a, a turn or a, uh, um, we wanna make a stair. We're going to turn like that and you're going to need to attach it, so. Uh, let's go ahead and let's open this door this way. Move here. Oh, we're going to have to open here. And then move here. B. There we go. So we want the handles still facing the same direction, but we're going to line up the back of the doors. So right there, just so they barely intersect, right? And now we can go move B and move B. So now this door and that door are attached. So now I can create uh, stairs. Uh, these stairs would be going down. If, if our door bridge was going that direction, these stairs would be going down. If our door bridge is going that direction, these stairs would be going up. So I could actually open it from this side and, oh, oh. We need to we need to destroy that. Hold on, hold on. Can I destroy this? No, that's not. There we go. So these stairs would be going up. So let's go ahead and open this door. Let's see. Do I want it opening down or up? I think if I open it like that, like that, like that, I should be able to move this one. And then B. There we go. So let's let's re reshut this one. Now, in order to make stairs, we're going to have to attach along this backside. Thank you so much for the subscribe. <clears throat> so we're going to do another turn, and we're just going to off center just a little bit. So let's go. Let's go right right here, one unit up. And then the next one, we're going to go one unit up as well, just like that. And now these should attach. So if I open this, move B. Wait, do I have uh, two more regular doors? 
And then we close this one, move B, and then close this one, close, move B, there we go. Now that should all be attached. Boom. And now we have stairs. And you can continue on like this for uh, however long you needed. The, the main part of the stairs would always be this door, this door, and the ones that are attached to the very tips, the, the ends. So those are going to be your main backbone to the door. And then doors uh, that make up the steps themselves, like this door and this door, these would be attached as like ribs throughout the, uh, the entire thing. So, okay. I hope you've had a learning experience from this one. I know it's a, a little bit different than my normal um, videos of Lumber Tycoon 2, but I also felt like I really needed to explain the doorbell, the, the doorbell, <laughs> ding, ding. No, I needed to explain the door bridge process because a lot of people are, are just confused on how it starts how to do it um, and where it goes. The places that you can get to, you can build a walking uh, bridge or a driving bridge to gold, uh, gold doors. You can build it to the swamp. If you're on slot, uh, if you're on plot two and you're at the far left-hand corner, build up and then start to build your door bridge, you can actually build a drivable bridge to the volcano. Now it's not directly to the volcano. It's to that little, uh, that little flat place on the back of the volcano. You can get there. Um, the same thing on the far right hand corner of slot two, you can build up to this corner and drive to the, uh, the, the gold bridge, uh, the gold swamp area. Um, let's see. You can also build, Let's see, if you're, if you're on slot number one, two, three, four, five, if you're on slot number five and you build on the left corner, you can do a walking bridge to palms. If you're on slot number nine and you're on the far right corner, you can build a drivable bridge to palms. Um, if you want to be really, really enthusiastic about door bridges, you ultimately could build a bridge that you can drive all the way from slot, uh, from plot nine, eight, seven, from six, all the way across to the tropics using fat door bridges and drive the entire length of the ocean. So, thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Askins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos like a good YouTuber does, but it's your choice. I know that 60% of you aren't going to be subscribed and you probably should hit the subscribe button or at least make an effort to try and hit it because that's, that's a lot of people that are not subscribed. And I know a lot of YouTubers complain about it, but you know, I've never, I've never complained about it. But if you're watching the videos, might as well hit the notification bell. That way you get those wonderful uh, notifications about the next Lumber Tycoon 2 video. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. And we'll talk to you very soon. <laughs> Outro. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com.